Margaret Tran organizes anti-hunger activists who lobby their members of Congress to change the policies and programs that allow hunger to persist. At night, she composes, plays, and sings her own music. But the magic happens when those worlds collide, and the distinction between activist and musician disappears. Because of the pandemic, I spoke with Margaret over video conference from her home in New York. This is Homebound, the show about how to experience the world when you can't enter it. I'm Margaret Tran. I'm a musician activist and senior regional organizer at Bread for the World. I'm particularly interested in how hunger and climate change intersect. A lot of these issues are so interrelated and I think important to share with people, you know, empowering them, how they can advocate, how they can have their voices heard. Through my music, that has become my outlet to, to let myself share these, these issues in a more creative way and, and hopefully inspire people to, to get out there and advocate themselves. frequently have at my concerts an advocacy component. I'll usually play one of my songs, like More Than, for example, which is inspired by our bread work. I was encouraging clients at the Kennedy Center to write letters to protect child nutrition programs. Programs that personally affect the clients at the food pantry, making sure that their children get free or reduced lunches at school. And then I'm always available after concerts and people frequently make questions about, oh, you know, I really like that song and you know, I want to learn more about what I can do. So that's always really great after the show to, to talk to lots of other people and kind of see what issues they're interested in. Definitely people are hungry to advocate while we continue to be at home. I'm sure you also have these feelings like when you're at home all day, it doesn't feel as, as active or as, as meaningful like connections you have when you see people out in the world like we used to do. So I've been working with a lot of advocates. They're just like, what can I do? What can I do? And we have a webinar coming up. These webinars are every quarter or so to kind of bring together our different advocates in this region. They're a great time to bring people together, especially now that people are craving that time that they can gather. We've been able to get people to hear more about the latest on the legislation we've been pushing through. Right around the time that coronavirus relief bill, Families First, passed, and one of my bread leaders she receives WIC to help support her two-year-old son. Because of that bill, she was able to still receive WIC and stay at home and, and care for her son and, and do her casework remotely. Normally to receive WIC, she has to physically go into an office. And she was so concerned about that because she didn't want to put her life at risk. She didn't want her son vulnerable. And so that was one piece of that bill that made a big difference in her life. Uh, one of my regional calls about a month ago, I, you could just tell in the call that everybody was just glad hi, to see your faces. Hi, can you hear me? Oh, yes. Hi. Hello. Yes. Your voices. What's um, everyone doing? Good. And I ended with playing my song more than, which was a nice way to kind of um, get people inspired to, to go and make those calls, those emails. One reason why I've begun a lot of meetings or, or conversations with people is, you know, what's brought you joy recently is because that is an important question right now. What each of us finds joy from to keep us sane. For me, music is a big part of what makes me happy. And so, yeah, definitely look look at your life and you know, what brings you joy and um, take advantage of what you're able to do in this time to, to get that. <laughs>